Hi everyone and welcome back to another midweek video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Clarice and I focus on exposing the narcissist. And today I want to talk about the highest point in a narcissistic relationship, which is the love bombing phase. Because it is an addictive experience for all persons involved. So today I'll talk about why narcissists go about it this way, why it ends, and some early signs that the love bombing is about to end, but also what can make it go on for a bit longer. I will also point out the imbalance of the love bombing phase, which is a clear giveaway that you are dealing with a narcissist, but that will be near the end, so please stay with me. Some people argue that because the love bombing phase is so perfect, it is hard to tell if you are dealing with a narcissist. But to me, the so-called perfection of the love bombing stage is what should be an immediate red flag. But for those who continue through, hoping that such a relationship is the real deal, there are some things to help you to know if you are dealing with a narcissist some of which I have covered in this video, which reveals how narcissists behave during the love bombing phase. But also today, I am going to speak more about what is behind the love bombing and share some signs that will make it clear that the love bombing phase has ended or is coming to an end. Because the love bombing phase is a glorious point in a narcissistic relationship, where everything seems to be perfect. The love, the sex, the attention, the gifts, everything. But all good things must come to an end. And when you are dealing with a narcissist, the change is such a far cry to what was that many of us are left baffled and wondering where is the person we fell in love with? Where is the person who was so kind, considerate and caring? Where is the person who thought everything about me was perfect? Where is the person who gave up everything to spend time with me and nothing was ever too much for them? Well, that person was just a fantasy character created just for you. That is why you seem to have so much in common and share similar interests. That is why you could speak for hours and it never seemed like enough. That is why you felt that this person had to be your soulmate, your twin flame or whatever else have you. Narcissists become all things to all men. Whatever you want them to be in that period, that is what they will be. The length of the love bombing phase is dependent on how long it takes for you to completely fall for the narcissist. And it all depends on whether the narcissist is just looking for an exclusive relationship, money, marriage or children. But the narcissist knows you have fallen for them when you tell them you love them or when you commit yourselves exclusively to them. And the love bombing ends when the narcissist has achieved their goal, whether it was exclusivity, marriage, children, access to your finances, or whatever else they are after. As soon as the narcissist gets that green light that they have got you, hook, line, and sinker, then it's time to wind down on the love bombing. It is time to relax the efforts until that phase becomes nothing more than a distant memory. But the love bombing will continue as long as you do not give in to the narcissist. Because narcissists enjoy the challenge of getting someone to fall in love with them. But when you do, it affects the narcissist in ways that no one would expect. The narcissist becomes bored, the narcissist now has what they want, 
so you are no longer worth impressing or made to feel valued. The changes come fast and hard. So one of the first things the narcissist will start to do is give you the silent treatment. Expect them to become moodier and quieter around you until it gets to the point where you are walking on eggshells around them as they seem to be easily irritated and annoyed. The next thing to look out for are the critiques. The narcissist will become very critical because although once upon a time everything about you was perfect, now the narcissist has what they want, you are no longer perfect to them anymore. You are no longer worth being kept on a pedestal. You have to be thrown off that pedestal and be led to feel worthless. A major thing to note about the love bombing phase is that it is all about you. But as soon as the love bombing phase ends, it is no longer about what you want, but everything to do with what the narcissist wants. This is the imbalance I mentioned earlier, because during the love bombing phase, the narcissist is obsessed with you and is willing to put you first for almost anything. It's all about what you want to do, where you want to go, which is clearly not the current mindset of someone who is balanced, but rather someone who is trying to trap you. And when the love bombing is ending, the focus begins to change. And before you realize it, the narcissist has you serving them and meeting their every need while they are doing nothing for you anymore. They no longer have time for you. They are no longer interested in what you have to say. They make you feel that you are bothering them or making their life miserable or difficult. To the narcissist, you are no longer a source of positive supply as you are no longer someone that they feel they have to impress. So you become a source from which they receive their dark form of narcissistic supply where tormenting you and hurting you is what delights them and brightens their day. Where walking out of the house knowing that they have left you broken or in tears is what will help them get through their day. In the mind of the narcissist, because they once fought to secure your love, they now feel entitled to ruin you. After all, they didn't invest all that time, money and energy to not get anything back in return. And with narcissists, there is no limit when enough is enough. This is why the love bombing is no more than a trap to get you bonded to the narcissist emotionally, physically and mentally. The narcissist creates a love experience that is not only surreal but addictive to keep you wanting them. But once they've got you where they want you, everything changes for the worst. That's it for today. I hope you all have a blessed week. Please share your thoughts in the comment section below. Many thanks for listening.